You ever just having a bad day and you just want to witness other people's bad luck to make yourself feel better? Yeah, that's me right now. The lesson here is don't get too close to a fox. Okay, so somebody's Snapchatting a fox. What's going to happen? Are they going to be attacked by the fox? Why are you videotaping a fox? I don't understand. Okay, they're getting closer and closer to the fox. This is where the attack happens. Wait for it. Wait for it. Nope, nope, the fox just stole his wallet. Yeah, you saw correctly. That fox just stole that man's wallet. You're like, oh my God, there's a fox. I need to tape it. And then the fox just goes, yoink. I'm gonna take that wallet real quick. Sweet and innocent face. So cute. You're just like, oh my God, it's a fox. And then he comes up and he steal your sh**. He's like, ladies, I got bills to pay. I got a family to feed. He stole my fucking wallet. Well, that's what happens when you get close to a fox. He either gonna bite your face off or he gonna steal your sh**. All things considered, this could have gone way, way worse. I agree. He could have bitten your face off. Lily pads don't work like that. That is the lesson here, that lily pads, you can't just step on them. They're not like a, a hard surface, guys. I don't understand. What In what world is that a good idea? Like, oh yes, they're just little lily pads. I can jump across to the other side. It's like, no, no, they will not support a human's weight. They can support a fair amount of weight, but you can't just step onto them like that. I just didn't even think they could support any weight. This is why we can't have nice things. I was trying to take a picture of my lobster roll I ordered in Maine and well, this is what happened. You're trying to get a good Insta pic, everything's very nice and beautiful and you're like, I'm enjoying this lobster roll. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a picture of it for the gram. I need to get those likes. Put it up like that, go to take the picture. Seagull comes down and yoinks it. I'm not gonna lie, it's making me feel a bit better about my bad day. These other people suffering is making me feel better. I hope you can relate. And this person learned not to swim with swans. Why would you ever swim with swans? Swimming with swans. There's too many S's. I want to go swim with some swans. There was two S's, but it's still exciting. No, it's never good to just like climb in. in. No, don't just climb in. Yeah, Bad idea. Go. The person who is holding the camera knows that this is going to end badly. They're baiting you. They're baiting you. Death is coming. Does he still have shoes on? He's still got his shoes on. What am I about to witness? I hear a noise. Run. Oh, oh my, my God, God, they're coming for you. Oh, oh no. God. Can you imagine that what? coming towards you? They're very protective. You came onto their territory. Of course they're going to attack. A lot of these are making me feel way, way better. I'm not going to sit here and say that other people suffering ain't making me feel better, okay? It's all like minimal stuff. They're not getting hurt. But this makes me feel bad. Not only have they smashed their table, but they've also ruined every bit of equipment that is on that table. The cleanup for this is just automatically giving me anxiety. I'm picturing all of this being on glass right now. And not only is the glass smashed, but my monitor is, my keyboard, my computer's underneath. It's getting hurt. I'm sorry. I feel your pain, but also why would you get a glass table? A bad idea from the beginning. Never a good idea to get a glass table. My mum always raised me saying that. This girl found out the hard way. She had struck a nerve. I asked this guy how tall he is and he blocked me. LMFAO. Is that really worth blocking somebody? I'm a check. Hold on. Let me text Cray real quick. A few inches later. He blocked me. He legitimately blocked me. It works. It actually works. Sorry, Cray. Okay, on the subreddit, unpopular opinion, somebody said hard boiled eggs are disgusting. I almost died eating one. The crunchy soft mix is absolutely disgusting. It's like eating a ravioli covered with chips. Dude, <laughs> does somebody want to tell him? Does somebody want to tell him? You're meant to take off the outside of an egg. You know that, right? You're meant to boil it, then you... Just, just Google it. Like, if you just Google it, you should know. If, also, if you're one of these people doing that, please seek medical help. That can't be good for your throat. It, it would have to hurt. These pears are fake. As you can see, somebody has tried to bite into every single one of them. They do look real in their defense, but it's also like, I see you decided to bite every single one of them just in case. Hey, they might not all be fake. They do look pretty real. So what if one's real? The rest are fake. You gotta check. Or what if you're just really drunk and you keep coming home thinking mum's put some pears in the bowl? Did you ever think of that? I 100% thought those were real. <laughs> Killing a spider is isn't always a good idea. Oh, that's like my biggest fear. I'm petrified of spiders. You just like try to whack it to kill it and it's like, oh no, honey. She got babies all up in there. She coming for you. Oh, I'm getting the creepy crawlies. I'm getting the creepy crawlies. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. I repeat, I'm uncomfortable. Perks of having the same job as your best friends. Why is she smiling? She's pushing her friend who clearly has no idea what's about to happen. She about to eat. Is this in the moment when she knew death was coming? Oh God knew it. You can't protect yourself. You cannot protect yourself in those situations. I got fired. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. You want to go out to the car park and have some like, you know, trolley races, hurt your friend, you know, make them eat sh 
Uh, you're gonna lose your job. Is that really the perk of having the same job as your best friend? You get to hang out with your mate, not throw them into a piece of bloody concrete. That's not what you're working with your best friend for. Well, guess what? Now you ain't working with them at all. This parent learned not to leave their kids alone for too long. Please, when is school resuming? I'm tired already. <laughs> and here we have two children who have ended up finding the flower and putting it absolutely everywhere. Imagine leaving your kids for like two minutes, coming back and seeing that and being like, I regret becoming a parent. I regret it all. This girl learned the hard way that she shouldn't apply for another job at work. So I didn't want my current job to know I was looking for another job. Why the damn news filmed me at the job fair? SMH. I need to keep this a secret. My, my current job cannot find out that I'm looking for another job, obviously, because I need to keep it in case I don't get the new one. And I'm at a job fair and there's cameras and I'm scared. And now I'm on the damn news. I hope you're happy. WCIA. I hope you're happy. This influencer learned the hard way not to swim with sharks just for a picture. I would never in a million years go into the water where there is sharks just to get a pretty picture. I'd be like, no, no, no. I leaned back and then that shark, he came and he bit down my arm and pulled me under. Why are you laughing, girl? You just got bitten by, oh, you can literally see it in the picture. I didn't look hard enough. You can literally see her being bitten by a shark in the image. Oh my God. The dedication to the gram is most certainly real. She better have gotten 10,000 likes for that. No, even 20,000 likes. If you're gonna rob a place, don't leave your phone behind. You dropped your phone running out of my store with the slushies you stole. The police will be at your house shortly. <laughs> and just post a bomb ass selfie of him just not giving a single f like, goddamn, you're gonna go rob a store? At least don't drop your phone. But also it's like, you robbed a store for some slushies. Was it worth it? You dropped your phone, so you've lost a phone. And now the police gonna be knocking on your door for some slushies. They're like a dollar, just pay it. And now a random man has shamed you on the internet. Also, let's include that. You have been shamed by this man right here. How do you feel? The lesson here is puppies pee everywhere. See so like, oh my God, this person brought an adorable little cute puppy and it's sitting on its laptop. How cute. Oh yes, he's taking a on your laptop. I repeat, he is taking a on your laptop and that shit's expensive. Okay, I can almost guarantee I feel way better about my bad day because I just experienced all those people's bad days. I'm thoroughly entertained, but make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and uh, you know guys, always, just always gotta yeet, you know?